proud of you guys. You've had three really, really hard games. And you've really shown up and done well all three. We're a good team. When Mike Tomlin said it, it's not whether you can or not, it's whether you will, uh, I, I don't have any question we will. It's an older team. It's a team that gets it and a team that wants it. I want us to have fun. I want us to be high energy. I want us to be totally into the game. And, and I want us to just play. Just do what you do. And that's it. You don't need to do any more than that. We are the best team. We've got to be the best team here in a few minutes. Carolina can establish a quality ground attack, diversify that offensive attack. That'll slow down Pitt a little bit, make it harder for them just to pin their ears back, try to go get May. You know, they're known for physicality. Um, they, they, bring it, they bring it, you know, every year. That's what Coach Arndt does. You know, in, in Pittsburgh, they pride themselves on. Well, coming into the game, they was going to come out playing desperate. They was going to come out hungry, knowing that they really ain't had nothing to lose. So we just had to come out and do us, play us, play fast, play with discipline, play with clean eyes, and just get the job done. Honestly, going into that week, we always always just, you know, going to the same mindset. We always want to get better and keep improving our crafts, go, going into the pit game, playing a hungry team, a desperate team, a team that was looking for their not their first win, but a, a big win, you know, coming off of a loss. Me and Cedric and came in and just whole defense, we just come together and just said, like, we're gonna keep improving, keep keep playing hard, and just go out there and do what we do, DWWD, do what we do every day, and keep making a statement week after week on who we are as a defense. Yeah, you know you're on the road. You know there's gonna be a surge early by them. You know to expect the unexpected. May onside kick to start the game. May have a double pass like South Carolina. Be ready for all that stuff. There's gonna be some bad things happen, overcome it. That's what you do. That's what you do. I'm very proud of you. I love and appreciate you. If I had to swap ours for yours, absolutely no way. I can't wait to watch you play. Let's go in. May, ready to throw a long one to the right sideline, is caught by J.J. Jones. May, again, pulls it away from the running back. Brooks dumps it off in the flat left side. Morales runs over one tackler, two tackler, battling himself inside the five. What a physical run by Morales. Handoff to Hampton, bounces off a of Panther, and bounces in to the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Carolina ready to snap, first and 10 from midfield. Tariel's gonna set up a reverse, flip it back to May, coming down the near sideline. Copenhaver brings it in. Tariel's will have it first and goal inside the 10. Yeah, it's kind of had a, um, a little reverse, um, kind of flip back to me kind of play. Um, a lot of people have been running. Do my best job to get it up to Cope. You know, I saw him wide open, so just tried to get something. Uh, they ended up under throwing it, but um, could have been a touchdown, but at the same time, kind of rang my bell a little bit. Stuff happens, and we end up going back out there and scoring that drive, so that's all that matters. May rolling out to the far side. He's going to run it in for the touchdown. Dracovic trying to pull it and run, and he is hounded down by Cedric Gray. Ended up getting some help from Eccles and Biggers, but that was Gray sprinting from behind Dracovic and taking him down for a short loss. Jerkovic in a heap of trouble, and down he goes! Rucker swings down Jerkovic inside the five. So Junko backed up for this punt. Huzzy is standing on the pit 48. Huzzy's going to have another chance at a return. Huzzy down the far sideline, cuts up at the numbers. He's at the 30. Huzzy may go! 15, 10, 5, give him six, baby! Touchdown, Carol! It felt amazing, the punt return. Well, when I caught it, I seen nothing but grass and opportunity, and the guys up front, they blocked well for me, and they, we've been praying about it all week to get a good return, so they, they blocked really well, and I caught it and made a dude miss, and right when I made a cut, I seen nothing but green grass, so I had to split two defenders, but after that, it was, it was just straight touchdown. And then when I ran in, I felt extremely amazing, looked up and seen my mom, and I know she was very proud of me. Now it's 21-14, and they'll start on the ground with Hammond, and the Tar Heels do a nice job out of the shotgun. Has time to do so. Boy, a wobbly throw to Hammond in the flat, and that's going to lose some yardage. 
as Eccles there to take down Hammond. He'll play action, pressure in his face. The throw is knocked away. Guess who? Elijah Hussey breaks it up. And Pitt's going to have to try a field goal. Hussey's been doing it in the punt return game. Slaps it away from Mumfield there. 21-17 Carolina. Tar Heels due to get the ball to start the second half, but have their backs up against their own end zone right now. Clock does start running. It's at 2.43 and counting. May is going to throw. Dumps it off to Hampton in the flat near side. Hampton has a good block and has a first down. He's still moving down the sideline. Tar Heels now with some space to work. May, long time to throw. Oh, a dart. Caught it in the 40. May play action. Pressure coming. Gets out of trouble. May on the move at the 15. Slides down near the 10. Snapping it off the 8-yard line. May pulls it. Tries to roll to the far side. Oh, and now he's going to throw it and score. Gracious May throws it to Pesor in the end zone for the touchdown. He threw it left-handed. May was rolling out on the run and threw it left-handed to Pesor for the touchdown. Yeah, it's one of the plays we had a, a you know a defensive end read um, I, where I give it to the running back. He, he kind of sits outside and you know I pull it if he takes the running back and you know he sat outside and ended up still pulling it. Um, so first off, made the bad, made the wrong read and uh, just an instinct thing. You know, I really practiced throwing with my left. I'm um, just playing different sports growing up. You know, every now and then you, you try to. You know, play around with your friends and throw lefty and see if you can throw a spiral. Um, it's usually not, and obviously the one I threw wasn't a spiral. So, just glad I ended up working out. You know, props to Kobe for, you know, kind of a heads up play. 27-17. Drake May, his every piece of his ability on display on that drive. Let's get this thing done. Nice flight home. But we got 30 minutes of ball left. Good right. School, who's got it? Come on, man. You think they can stop us? Come on, man. Come on, man. They can block you? They can block you? Hell no. They can block you? They can block you? Come on, man. What? Come on, man. What? Come on, man. Come on, man. Okay, we said they'd have a surge to start the game, and they did. Give them credit. They had the ball 20 minutes the first half. 35 plays to our 10 minutes, 25 plays. Great job on the kicking game. Punt return for a touchdown. Uh, deal maker. Now, do everything right. No penalties. Protect your quarterback. We're ahead. We're going back nothing, nothing. We're going to fight our ass off and come back in here for another. Yeah. May going to try a deep ball. Has a man there. It's J.J. Jones in stride and is taken down inside the pit 20. They're going to try to keep it on the ground. Hampton stiff arm gets free. Around the far side, Hampton is pushed out of bounds, but he has the first down. May under center. He's just going to sneak it and in for the score. Rolls out to the near side. He will throw it to Jones and gets a foot down. Comes to the near side and... Caught again, J.J. Jones with another terrific catch on the sideline, one-on-one -on -one with A.J. Woods, makes the grab. He's gone over 100 yards, receiving for the first time in his career. I really just try to look at every game the same, just going there with the same mindset of just working hard and doing my job and keeping the, keeping the main thing the main thing. Um, you know, especially this season, it seems like a different receiver has a career game each game. And, you know, I was just blessed and fortunate to, for it to be a, a game for me. But I really couldn't do it without my other teammates. So without them, I, none of this would be possible. That's something I practiced when I was a little kid. And when you just throw the ball around, you practice toe tap catches. And um, just for the transition from practice to a game, when you do something in practice like that, it transitions to the game very well. So I, I knew I was in for all those. Everybody this year just seems so much bought into the program and Coach Lindsey's game plan from the offensive line to the running backs, to the tight ends, to the receivers, to the quarterbacks. Everyone's doing their job. We have depth everywhere. And especially in the receiver room, it seems like from top to bottom, I believe we have the best receiver court in the country. And we all go out there and make plays at different points in time during the game. And whenever your whole offense can be spread out and you can run or pass the ball and just run it down the field, it just makes things a lot harder for defenses. Will drop back to throw. Atkinson drills him as he throws. It's just hanging in the air and in.
intercepted. Carolina gets the pick. Huzzy with the interception. Atkinson made the hit. Tariels will rush just three. Bayer, I think he threw it to Huzzy, who gets the pick at midfield. Huzzy coming down the near sideline. He's pushed out of bounds at the 20 yard line. Huzzy, two interceptions and a punt return touchdown today. He has been a big part of what is going to be a 4 0 start to the year for the Tar Heels. Just trusting our coaches, trusting that the scheme that we put in for the week, and also adjusting to what they threw at us first half. We, we didn't see that all year, so we just had to trust the coaches and trust our ability to go out and get the job done. So the Tar Heels, they knew they were going to take a big punch from Pitt early, but after that, Carolina dominates Pitt, wins it 41 24. And for the first time since 1997, the Tar Heels start a year 4 and 0. Let's go. That's Where's significant because that's how long it's been. <laughs> that's how hard it is to be 4 and 0. And a lot of people would love to be 4 and 0 across this country tonight, and you are. And guys, I, I said this before in a minute. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'm so proud of you. I'm really proud of you. And, and there aren't many places in America. Uh, that a head coach can stand here and say, I love every one of them. I'd let every one of you babysit my grandkids. Sally loves you. That's who we are. And I, I, I just, I just, uh, yeah, come on. Uh, I, I will say this, a couple of you might be late. But I love you and don't you ever question that. And I love the way you play and I love the way you compete. And I'm just so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Sally and I, a lot of our identity is you all. That's who we are. That's what we do. We've got our kids, we've got our grandkids, and you. And, and that's all we got. And that's what we do this far. And I'm just so damn proud of you. I'm, I'm telling you that. I really am. Charlotte native Tez Walker is now eligible to suit up for UNC. The NCAA originally declared him ineligible for this season because he transferred twice before coming to Chapel Hill. In a statement from UNC, Tez says he can't wait to play this Saturday against Syracuse. Made my whole week. You free though? Hold on, he free, right? Oh, he lit. Free Ted, so it's backers, but now it's Ted's free. Ted's Ted free. free though. Hey, you know now I'm free. Now I'm free. Now I'm free. He got Ted. Now I'm free. You know that boy now I'm free. You really finna get ugly now. You wait to see. You wanna know about reaction? He's free. About that time. And we was like, we wanted to test him we had to play throughout the season. And Coach Brown was like, he don't know. Right after that. Just talking about that. Yeah. Coming off the bye week is great. So. Like, a new season. Like, we in a new season. They just don't know for real. No. They just don't know. About to get scary. Hey, hold on. About to get scary. It was already scary. Just wait. Like I was lost, like I didn't know like what was the what the next step was. I didn't know if I was gonna just wanna declare and take my chances or just have to sit out, spot that pill, sit out a whole year and wait till next year. Like I was like I was shocked. Like I mean I had no idea that I was gonna be playing this year, like the last five weeks, like I thought my season was over. So I was every day I come in, I was prepping for next year really. So when they told me it was like a weight off my shoulder, like like I knew me. And then I just knew it was, it was time to work. We still got a lot of season left. Uh, I called my grandma first. Told her, like, she was, she screamed through the phone. Like, 
felt like she was right there beside me. Like she, she raised me basically like, all my siblings decided to go live with my mom. Like I stayed with my grandma, I stayed back to help her out when she was going through all the surgeries, couldn't, could barely walk, could barely like feed herself, go to the bathroom. Like I was helping her with all that stuff. Um, and she never got the opportunity to see me play middle school, high school. Uh, she never came up to camp to watch me play. So her first time watching me play was against Syracuse this past Saturday. Just, you know, great news. You know, it's, it's, it's pretty, you know, it's hard to fathom, um, you know, how long the journey's been and how much you hear about, you know, free Taz and, you know, how he's getting, you know, not treated correctly and, you know, texting him right away and, and said, that's rock. So glad to have nine back out there. Just lightens up the room. He's got one of those, those smiles that lightens up the room and um, he's, he's got killer speed and um, he's a great route runner. So he does it all. Yes, yeah, so we played high school basketball against each other. Um, and probably just trash talking was probably the first probably the time we talked against each other. He says he clamped me. I don't believe that, but you know, I think I had a couple points. I got a couple buckets for sure on him. Like with Drake, like I mean, he's like everybody knows like, he's crazy competitive. Like even in high school, like he was a freshman, I was like a junior, so he airplay, like he brought it. So like I knew what I was gonna get out of him as a quarterback. Um, having those conversations with him before spring ball and before the season started, like. I just tried to be there for him just as much as I was there for the receiving room. So I think we've, we've grown a lot closer through that. And I'm really excited to be be alongside him again. As soon as I heard the news, called my grandma. As soon as I got off on my grandma, I went to a two-hour meeting with Coach Galloway, going through the plays, watching tape on Syracuse. I knew instantly like I'd lock in, and, uh, get prepared, get back in game shape, and get back to um, doing what I had to do. All right, here's what we got, baby. Game day, finally. We've been waiting for two weeks to play, right? It's been a bye week, and we're ready to go. You've had a great two weeks. You got great prep work. You know what? You know what your assignment is. You know what you're gonna see. Now it's time to let it loose and have fun. Take care of the ball. Force turnovers. Win the kicking game. Play your ass off. Have fun, and let's go. Yes. Let's go, baby. It was it was it was heartfelt. I mean, like I mentioned, like growing up in the state, being able to run out the flag at the biggest university in the state, like it did wonders. Um, in the game, it was it was fun overall. Like, it felt felt good being out there. Um, all the support I received from fans and teammates, and it just felt good to be a part of it all. Now, Tez Walker will come in. You hear the response from the Tar Heel crowd. May quickly throwing, caught, and that is Tess Walker bringing in his first catch as a Tar Heel. He brings it in at the 44-yard line for a gain of six. May quickly throws and caught over the 50 by Nesbitt. Quick hitter to the near side, McCollum. He's got a chance here for a big play. Gets to the 25, knocked out of bounds. May is under center. He's going to just duck in. He's pushed from behind. Trader trying to come to the near side. He's bottled up. Travis Shaw, the big fella, starting to see some more time. Dumps it in the flat and nowhere to go. Upended by Geo Biggers, the Tar Heel safety. You know, full team effort. Um, it starts with, um, obviously the defense is you know playing great. Those guys are, are flying around making plays. Um, offensively, I think we're quick and moving the ball well. Um, I still feel like we didn't put our best foot forward in the red zone. Um, could put some more touchdowns in, at the end of the day. But uh, you know, a big, a big win in front of a home crowd. Um, I feel like we got something good going. So just trying to keep that same, um, that same mentality. May alone in the backfield will get the snap. Orange bring pressure. May's going to the end zone. Nesbitt is there. in the bucket. Okay, May looking for a deep ball. Whips it down the middle of the field and caught. May play action. He just flips it under <laughs> to Copenhaver for six.
Listen to me close. Great first half. Very dominant. That's <coughs> what we wanted. That's what we asked for. We always come in here and say, okay, it's 0-0, zero, zero, and then sometimes we go back out there and we're complacent. You can't be comfortable, and you can't be complacent if you're going to be a great team. What you got to do is be competitive. So what we're going to do is that game's over. Yeah. We're going to play this 30 minutes for a game, and we're going to grade this, and we're going to see how the hell we do putting people away. Because we are starting this thing over, we're going to grade it over, and we're going to play it over, and they get the ball the first first series. So let's go out there. Teachable moment for us, man. We, we, we haven't done this very well. This is a great opportunity for us to show that we can keep our foot on the gas and that we can be competitive a whole game and that we can be excited on the sidelines and we're going to kick somebody's ass. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
in terms of wreaking havoc. We checked every box in there. We got TFL, sacks, interceptions, BPUs, you name it. So um, yeah, that was definitely the most complete game of ball that we that we performed. Um, and though for me, since I've been here coming in 2020, I know that was um, our most consistent game, um, our most dominant game. Um, our defense was more confident than ever. So yeah, that was probably the most complete I've ever seen us. Um, just kind of starting off with that first quarter, I mean, defense went three and out real quick and offense were putting up points, you know, as soon as they were getting off the field. I think we were up, you know, 24-0 at half. So really just hopped on them really, really quick um, and, and played complimentary football between the offense and the defense. You know, I think we killed them in, in, in time of possession. Um, and, and number of plays. So just a really complete game as a team as a whole. This team can be special. Let's seize the moment and don't mess it up. We don't want to have regrets. We, we don't want to leave anything on the table because we're pretty good. We're pretty good. And I, I like your spirit. I like you like each other. I like you pulling for each other. It's a lot of fun. This is something uh, really special here that not many people have. All of us can do better. And all of us know it. That's what we got to do. We, we got to get better. Love you. Appreciate you. Congratulations. Great few undefeated teams in America, guys. Fewer tonight than there were this morning. Uh, so you are undefeated uh, and in, in great shape. So thank you. Love you. You know, Miami, they're also known for having great backs. You know, up front, O-line, they have a great O-line coach that's teaching them how to pick up every um, game um, formation that is, um, that's put in front of them. And of course, they got um, leading in front of them was Tyler Van Dyke. They got a very explosive offense. They're very sound and, um, you know, they're nobody to be slept on. Uh, they're always going to have, you know, great athletes on the opposing side. But, you know, guys were just able to fight, you know, throughout the game and, and just, you know, make plays and, and key moments. And we were able to, you know, sustain a few blows and just keep coming back and fighting. And what an unbelievable night, right? What an unbelievable night. So, hey, man, everybody stay locked in. Everybody strike out. Everybody just do what you do. Us versus us. Us versus us. And every one of your coaches, every one of your coaches believe in every single thing you're doing. Every single thing you're doing. Man. So let's go play. Let's go have fun, man. Be locked in. Right? It's going to be a great game. You're going to come out snorting. So are we. Play your ass off. Let's have some fun. You got me? Whatever you do, have fun out there, man. Great environment. You earned it. And let's go play. You worked really hard for this moment. Let's seize the moment. Let's play hard. Let's do what we do every day in practice. We're a really good team. You don't need to do more than that. Take care of the ball, knock the ball loose, and find a way to win. Let's go win. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. 63 degrees, clear sky. Supposed to dip into the mid 50s tonight for Carolina and Miami. Rained earlier, but that rain is out of town now. Beautiful weather for the Heels and the Canes. Liam Boyd about ready to kick off for Carolina in what is an electric Keenan Stadium right now. First play of the ball game, and the Canes will keep it on the ground. And not much doing there. Hester and Murphy combined to take down Tyler Van Dyke. May, plenty of time to throw. Now he rolls out to the left. Goes down the sideline. Bumped out of bounds is J.J. Jones. Jones gets the ball into Miami territory, and finally the Tar Heels connect through the air. Right up the gun, it's Hampton battering his way into the 10. Five wide, Miami rushes just three. His first Tar Heel touchdown right in the heart of the end zone. First one backed up kind of in the, in the red zone, um, kind of a third and long, and um, kind of had a seam ball to him, and he got behind uh, the safety, he ended up coming down, rotating down. Um, Ted's got behind him, it was kind of a 
kind of a bang bang deal and kind of a tight window and um, you know he did the rest he was, he was pretty open. I felt way more comfortable um, I had a whole week prepared for them knew what they was going to come with uh, got with Drake some got with some of the other receivers watched a lot of tape got with our GA and coach got with a little bit so I was way more confident going into the Miami week. Uh, it felt good I mean it just feels good to hear that many people get loud for you seeing everybody hands go up loud as they got it felt, felt amazing. Miami first and goal from the one and they're already up to the football. And we'll hand it off to Paris, who loses the football. He fumbled the football. Picking it up for Carolina is Cedric Gray. Fighting, trying to get a stop. Um, and they kind of ran it kind of the other side, kind of away from me. You know, my feet took off before I even had the ball. Uh, that's why I started, you know, kind of stumbling. Once I kind of caught my feet, you know, I, I kind of got blindsided from my side. Uh, and, and, and knock the wind out of me, you know. It's, it's going to take a lot to, to take me off the field, you know. I, I kind of pride myself on being a guy who's tough and is not going to let little knickknacks, you know, or different things like that take me out of the game. You know, I'm going to fight to the very end. Miami crowding the line of scrimmage. They have six guys at the line. Tar Heels will run and right up the center for more yardage and now pushing the pile, pushing the pile a mile. Tar Heels are going to end up with a first down on the play. You know, love those guys, you know, appreciate them. You know, they don't get as much love, but you know, it starts with them and, and they're the real um, kind of creators of, of our explosive offense. And just that testament, that play of pushing Big O and you know, got a five or six extra yards and you know, the whole team, whole offensive line pushing them. Uh, just a testament of what we want to be offensively, you know. Just uh, play to the whistle, play to the end of the whistle and um, just never give up. Tariel's trying to get into the end zone. May's gonna go up under center. He'll toss it to the left side and hit it. I feel like for us personally, I mean, like we already know what adjustments we need to make just as much as it, um, as much as we know as players, the coaches know um, the adjustments as well. And I feel like we come to a mutual agreement. We all agree with the um, adjustments that need to be made at halftime. And just like the co coaches trust us, we trust the coaches and we execute everything that we're given at halftime. There's nothing to it, man. We just plug and play after that. We got to go back out, take the opening kickoff and drive it down and score, get our momentum back, pick our heads back up. We've had really bad field position on offense, help on defense. Pick your head up, let's get excited about this, and let's get back out there, believe, everybody believe, and get your energy together and go win the game. Let's go. Yeah. In the first half, we knew if we cut down the penalties, cut down the mistakes, we were going to come out and do what we did, and I just feel like, like I liked that everybody really came together and none of us really blinked, like none of us were really worried at halftime. We knew we was shooting ourselves in the foot, so we already just came together and did what we had to do in the second half. May in the shotgun, two receivers to either side. First possession of the second half, Miami leading 17-14. Good protection this time. May can go deep and does so. Walker breaks it in at the 10 and walks it on home for six. Takes Walker, baby, six more. Tires have the lead. Coming out of halftime, we knew we had to score on, on the first possession. Uh, kind of get the momentum back. Um, caught him in quarters, kind of a cover four deal. Um, had a kind of a post, have a scissors concept um, with Tez over the top, and uh, you know, he's one of the fastest players you know I've ever thrown to. Um, he's gonna run by you, so I just put it up there, and he made, he did the rest um, for a big play. The snap is low; it's still being fought for on the ground. Who's got it? The Torios do. Coming out of the pile is Miles Murphy with the football. Miami will throw it on first down. Van Dyke is in. for Miami. Let's see if Carolina can make this one pay off. Knowing that particular play, I was a strong hook dropper. Um, and what they kind of teach us is, um, you know, you kind of have to get to the hash. Um, but, you know, you're also taught to kind of play vision off the quarterback, you know, see what, see what he's looking at, see where he's trying to throw the ball. Um, and, and that's exactly what happened. Um, you know, they hiked the ball, I read pass. You know, I knew that I was to the field hash, so I have a longer way to go, you know. I'm always used to being in the boundary where the hash is kind of just straight back behind me. Um, so I knew that I had to kind of fade some and I kind of locked eyes with the quarterback kind of seeing, okay, he's about to throw the ball and I seen him release it and, you know, it was within the range of me and I just, you know, went up and, and snagged it and, and made a play on it. Over the middle, Walker. The Tar Heels protect May 
And when they do that, he delivers a strike to his brand new favorite target. Kind of waiting on another third down, uh, backed up in the red zone, um, you know, waiting for him to come across the middle. He had a, had a dig route and uh, you know, kind of found the open, open, open zone. And uh, he did the rest. And he, was, he shook off a tackler, and uh, uh, he's emotional. He plays with passion, and uh, you love that seeing that from a teammate. And uh, just a huge, you know, part of you know our win and, and offensively. Van Dyke pressure coming. Good night. Came in Rucker slams down Van Dyke. But that was definitely the most legit unplanned celebration that's ever been put forth. But, um, you know, the sack leading up to that, um, you know, the DBs did their job, man. They covered um, just enough time for me to work the edge. You know, once I got the sack, man, the, that's the only thing I could do because I feel like that was a, mom, a momentum changer. My teammates felt it. The defense felt it. The entirety of the stadium felt it. Like I said, I can't take all the credit. It was definitely with the help of my teammates, man, and, of course, the energy that Keenan brings every single Saturday. So. I fed off of that man and me, power and said, hey, we, we went to town on that celebration for sure. You know, Ruck obviously got the sack, um, and I was trying to come over to kind of celebrate with him, and I kind of seen he was, you know, kind of doing his solo thing, and, and Ruck, you know, he tends to do that celebration pretty often, um, so I kind of just joined in with him and, 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 you know, hit the celebration with him. I didn't even realize, you know, in the moment that power was right there. Um, with us, you know, so it was nice to see after the game, kind of all of us in seek, you know, doing that celebration. It looked really cool, really hard, so that was cool to see. To the fourth quarter, the lights go off in Kena. Heels 35, Miami 17. Van Dyke, a lot of time to throw. Goes to the end zone and it is knocked away by Hulsey. May in the shotgun with Hampton to his left. We'll keep it on the ground. Hampton rockets up the middle. A goes to the far side. Hampton into Miami territory. 35 30. Hampton 25 20. Down to the 10. Keep on. Van Dyke to throw, Rucker. pressure from behind, and Rucker gets him down. That was a hard-fought football game Here we are. between two really tough football teams. Nobody will ever talk about you being soft again. So that was, that was a street fight. That's all that was. That was a, a heavyweight boxing match back and forth all night. And you know what? We didn't even play very good. That, that's how good we can be. It, we, we beat a really good team that played really well. Uh, we can get much better. Uh, I do want to say, Tom McGinnis, what a job, man. Yes, smart this is a special team that's six and oh we gotta love up on each other we gotta not be sensitive tomorrow we gotta fix all the mistakes that we made and we gotta come back out here and be seven and oh that's all that's important is be one and oh next week so take care of yourself tonight get some sleep this is too much fun i love you i love watching you play i love hard fought games and when you can win and not play your best that's pretty cool yeah. that, that's when you're a really good team enjoy this let's come back to work tomorrow and get ready to have our best game next week. We gotta keep chopping, baby. That's all we gotta do. You know, just um, me personally, and of course, as a as a unit, um, as a team, we can't get complacent. This is a um, this is around the time of the year where teams start to get a little banged up. Some successful teams tend to get a little complacent, but for us, we gotta keep our foot on the gas. We gotta keep on pushing forward. We can't get complacent with any single team. We can't be relaxed. We can't get lax of days ago. We have to understand like every game, we have to play it to our standard, and our standard is to be the best. Our standard is to wreak havoc, 
And so we got to reach that standard every time. And we had to, like I said, we got to continue to keep chopping each and every week. Yeah, I mean, I think we're just taking it, you know, one week at a time. Uh, but we don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves. Like I said, we got to take it one week at a time. You know, we got UVA coming up this week. We cannot take them lightly. You know, we're just going to keep coming in one week at a time and just keep stacking wins and stacking days. And, you know, at the end of the season, we'll be happy with what we did.